Biomimicry, it's basically about learning from nature. And you learn from nature and the result is innovation inspired by nature. And I actually think it's sustainable innovation inspired by nature is the result. The focus of Biomimicry New England is to establish nature as an important resource for education and innovation through the sciences, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. These goals are being put into action by working with schools at the K-12 level, developing courses at the university level, and collaborating with organizations to engineer through nature. About biomimicry, we like to point out that nature's R&D lab has been in business for 3.8 billion years. Uh, chances are there's something she can teach us, uh, hence biomimicry 3.8. Um, and if you think about it, considerably less than 1% of all the species that ever lived are alive today. So we've got the successful survivors as our lesson book. And if you think about it, spider silk, spider, the tensile strength of spider silk is five times stronger than the tensile strength of the toughest steel we can make. And how do spiders do it? They make it with local materials. They make it at ambient temperature, ambient pressure. Water is the solvent. This is the way all of nature makes everything. A classic problem is the Japanese high-speed train. It used to be called the bullet train. Okay, there's one slight problem. Now, they didn't think it was a problem, but the neighbors did. Whenever that train went into a tunnel, it caused a sonic boom. Now, you can imagine that locals probably weren't terribly happy about that, and they complained. And finally, Japan National Railway said, okay, you know, we should probably have somebody work on this. So they got a team of engineers to work on this problem. How do we get rid of the sonic? And they could not solve the problem. One of the engineers was a birder, and he knew that the kingfisher flies along, sees dinner, nosedive into the water, and there's no splash. Now, we're probably talking, you know, 100,000 years of evolution, but, uh, you know, if you make a splash, dinner takes off. So, okay, you've got to work on that. So, but if you abstract the problem, the problem is you're going at high speed from a less dense fluid to a more dense fluid, air to air, air to water, okay, and you want no disturbance. Okay? Kingfisher. Guess what? Did some modeling of the nose of a kingfisher. And if you look at the trains now, they have this long, thin nose. It comes up. And guess what? They eliminated the sonic boom. The trains can go faster, and they're more fuel efficient. All by, okay, here's the problem. How did nature solve it? To me, the way towards sustainability is biomimicry. Because it's not every organization is going to accept sustainability. Some companies do. They're getting better. But innovation, everybody wants. In the business world, everybody wants innovation. And have we got a deal for you? 3.8 billion years of R&D, and almost nobody's tapped this incredible library. It's a huge opportunity. And yet, this is a new approach, learning from nature. So the next time you have a problem, ask yourself, how would nature solve it?